Hey YouTube, it's me at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be doing the best tweaks of the week. We do these every week in collaboration with ModMy.com, so let's go ahead and get started. The first one that we're looking at here is called Berry C8. Berry C8. This is going to be a Jelly Lock replacement for iOS 8 with the iPhone 6 users. And you see here I have four icons at the bottom of my screen down here. And I can choose eight different icons, actually. So if we swipe through, you see there's my other four on this page. And to open any one of them, I just swipe it down over the Touch ID and hold my finger over the Touch ID, and it will open that particular application. And as you just saw, I opened Cydia, and when I put my finger over Cydia, it took me straight in. Now keep in mind, guys, this is free, too. So that's another awesome thing about Barry Sate. Now, if you don't have Touch ID, I have good news. You can still use this tweak by turning on the auto unlock and it will actually unlock the app automatically. So right here, you see where behavior is. You would turn auto unlock on and it would actually turn on the, I'm sorry, unlock the device automatically rather than requiring you to pull it down over once you pull the the actual app down then it would unlock you wouldn't have to put your finger over touch id and i was just going to try it here to see how it works and you see that it does work on my device too so here we have uh i'm just pulling them down and it's unlocking them right off the bat no problem i'm not having to to do anything with touch id and that's Barry C8. The next one we're going to be looking at here, guys, is another lock screen tweak. And let me show you about it. And what this one does is it puts a camera grabber on the left and right side of the screen. You might have seen that already. And it's called Grabber, grabber App 8. Grabber App 8. This is the... Uh, settings menu here for it right here you see you just enable it and then you choose which applications you want ha want to have on the left side which app you want to have on the right side and then you just hit the respring button and you're on your way so if we go back here to the camera grab to the lock screen you're going to see a small camera grabber on the left side over here i have the safari application icon and on the right side, I have the normal camera icon. So if I swipe up on the left side, you see I actually get the Safari uh, app opening up. If I swipe on the right side, I think that's going to be the camera as it was referred to uh, as I was. I don't think I changed it's what I was meaning. So that's pretty cool. And this is free too, guys, so don't forget that. This is a free one as well. The next one we're looking at is called Keyboard Vibrate. And I have this turned off. And what this does is when you enable that like so, it will actually vibrate uh, each time you touch the keyboard. So now we're going to do a respring. And when I open the keyboard up, you're going to see as I type a... Uh, an email out or something like that. Anytime I'm using the keyboard, it's actually going to vibrate. And I'm hoping that you can hear that. So now we're here inside of the Notes app. And I don't think you're going to be able to hear that. I'm going to turn it up. I don't know if that will help. But it's each time I touch a letter, uh, it's actually vibrating in my hand on each individual letter I can feel that so but you can you can actually change the way it, it, that it does vibrate too by going to keyboard vibrate and you can increase and decrease the time here so if we go back out now and go back to the notes app and I think it's going to require a respring before those will take effect and we'll see what it says please kill keyboard first if not working mostly 
I don't know what that's all about, but we'll try a respring and see what that does. And it did just exactly what I thought it would do. It's made the vibrations much longer. Now you can hear it. It's vibrating with each letter that I push. And that's called a Keyboard Vibrate. And it's free also. Keyboard Vibrate. And the next one we're going to look at is not free. And it's called QR Mode. And we'll go back to here and go to QR Mode. And this one is actually two bucks. It's a dollar ninety nine. And what this does, guys, it actually it's a it's a QR uh, code scanner. And you can you can use your camera app to open up uh, URLs, and you can use it to read uh, those QR symbols and all that kind of stuff. So if it's something that you're into. It's a QR code scanner. It adds itself as a new camera mode, like the panorama mode to the stock iOS camera. It recognizes all popular QR mode types and displays their content in a beautiful way with smooth animations. It, to make it usable as possible, QR mode has localized into 26 languages for a complete list. See the bottom of this page. It reads and displays all kinds of QR codes but URLs, vCard, SMS, email, phone number, location, QR modes have their own format. So I told you wrong earlier. You can't do the, the actual uh, URLs, don't think so. You have to be able to, to unlock the little, uh, I, the little QR codes like that that you see there on the screen. So pretty cool little deal. Check it out. It's $1.99. Don't forget, if you aren't a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you here. We do these every week. Share this and keep coming back.